Hello everyone, our today's question is find the value of the integral and the given integral is integration from 1 to 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 x square plus 1 upon x to power 4 minus x square plus 1 and ln of this given expression. So as a note in general you should remember that is if we have quadratic polynomial upon bi quadratic polynomial if you see this quadratic upon bi quadratic in general you have to do this and you have to try this. So, we always divide by x square in numerator and denominator. That is for sure. In most of the cases, I am saying. So, the moment you see this, you have to divide by x square in numerator and denominator. The reason is, I will tell you here. So, integration will remain as it is. 1 to 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. And here, we will get this as 1 plus 1 by x square. Whole thing divided by x square. And we'll get minus 1 here and then plus 1 by x square. Now we'll get here ln of 1 plus x minus 1 by x as it is here. Now let me rearrange this figure here. So we'll get integration of the same limit. I'm not writing the limit. Now if you see this floating value, this floating value is very important. From here we'll get the hint. Now the hint is in general the floating value will be the derivative. And rest of them is function or if the function is not given we need to create the function from our side because in an integral we always look for function and derivative so i think if this is our derivative then we have to look for function so can you think of a function whose derivative is 1 plus 1 by x square yes we can think that is x minus 1 by x if i differentiate let it be equal to y if i differentiate this we'll get this as 1 plus 1 by x square and then d of x is equal to dy here now I'm going to try to convert everything in the terms of x minus 1 by x. So we'll get 1 plus 1 by x square as it is. In denominator we have uh, x square minus 1 plus 1 by x square. So I can write this as x minus 1 by x whole square. If I open this I'll get x, uh, x square plus 1 by x square and then minus 2 will get. So plus here 1 so that this will give you minus 1 again and ln of we'll get this as 1 plus x minus 1 by x here and d of x. So already we have here x minus 1 by x. Now I'm going to substitute here. So the moment I substitute here, we'll get this as integration. Uh, 1 plus 1 by x square into d of x will be dy and we'll get ln of 1 plus y whole divided by 1 plus y square and then dy. Now let's calculate the upper limit and lower limit. So for lower limit, we can easily simplify. So for lower limit, if x is equal to 1, then we have y is equal to 0 because we have taken uh, x minus 1 by x as y. Similarly, we can calculate for x is equal to 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 for upper limit. So the value of y will be equal to 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 minus 2 upon root over 5 plus 1. So if I rationalize this, we'll get this as 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 minus times, we'll get this as 2 into, here we will get this as root 5 minus 1 divided by 4. So this 2 and 4 will cancel out, this will give you 2. And the moment you take LCM, root 5 and minus root 5 will cancel out. We will get this as minus or minus plus 1, 2 upon 2. So that will be equal to 1. So when x is equal to 1 plus root 5 by 2, y will be equal to 1 here. So lower limit is 0, upper limit is 1. Let me simplify this in the next page. Now, whenever we see the expression 1 plus x square or 1 plus y square, we always substitute y is equal to 10 theta. I'm going to substitute this and then differential dy will be equal to secant square theta, 3 theta here. Let's convert the integral. So, we have i is equal to integration. Now, the limits will again will change. So, lower limit when y is 0, 10 theta is 0, that means theta is 0. Now, for the upper limit when y is 1, 10 theta is 1, then it will be pi by 4 value of theta. We will get ln of 1 plus tan theta. Whole thing divided by we have 1 plus tan square that is secant square theta and the differential is already secant square theta d theta. So secant square will cancel out with secant square. Immediately we will get integration 0 to pi by 4 ln of 1 plus tan theta and then d theta. Now here I'm going to apply kings here. So if I apply kings here, I'm going to replace theta by pi by 4 minus theta. Keeping the limits intact, the value of integration will remain same. So again, I, I can write this as integration 0 to pi by 4. We'll get ln of 
1 plus 10 45 minus 1 theta so tan a minus b i can apply the formula here we'll get 1 minus tan theta upon 1 plus tan theta and then d theta so after applying this i'm going to simplify i'm going to take the lcm inside only we'll get integration 0 to pi by 4 ln of uh, i think 1 plus tan theta will come here and then i'm going to add with 1 minus tan theta so we'll get ln of 2 upon 1 plus tan theta and d theta so let's say this is our first equation and this is our second equation in general whenever we apply kings we always add so i'm applying kings and adding here so 1 plus 2 so 1 plus 2 will be i plus i will be equal to 2i so that will be 2i is equal to integration 0 to pi by 4 we'll get ln of a plus ln of b so ln a plus ln b is ln ab so i think 1 plus tan theta and 1 plus tan theta will cancel out here we'll get ln of 2 only and then d theta here so this implies i will be equal to uh, i'm going to integrate this first so ln 2 will be outside and pi by 4 will be outside and then immediately i'm going to divide by 2 so we'll get pi by 8 ln 2 so this will be our final answer and that will be all